Hi everybody, Graeme here from Active Monash. I hope you're all well and not too depressed by our lockdown number two. Uh, well today I've got a, another Strong for Life class for you. Uh, there's quite a bit of strength, uh, going to be quite a challenging program I think for most of you, but uh, adjust the weights uh, and, uh, and make it yours. Uh, there's three parts that are strength, uh, mixed with some cardio and some balance and agility. So uh, I think if you stick to the program, you will find it challenging, but I nevertheless hope you enjoy it. Make sure you've got plenty of clear space uh, in the area that you're exercising in, uh, so you don't have any trip hazards in the way. Uh, make sure you've got a little bit of music happening in the background. I can't have music because of copyright uh, reasons but you certainly can at home and it'll make your workout a lot more enjoyable if you've got some music happening. The equipment you're going to need today is a chair. Uh, you'll need that for uh, uh, the first round of strength exercises. Some dumbbells, and as we've said before, if you don't have any dumbbells, make some up out of a couple of empty uh, 1.25 litre drink bottles, uh, tape them together, uh, adjust the weight, make sure you're challenged. Uh, so dumbbells, a ball, don't have a ball, no problems. I bet you've got a backpack. You'll be able to use a backpack. Uh, so just make sure you've got those at the ready. I'll just put these out of the way. <clears throat> now, if you have any injuries, uh, make sure you've cleared yourself with your doctor and it's okay to do an exercise program. Uh, don't do anything at all that's going to aggravate an injury that you may have and uh, I hope you enjoy the program. And I indeed look forward to seeing you all again when we eventually all get back into the gym. So uh, just a little bit of activation to begin with. So up, around and down, little bit of hip rotation. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. You might notice in the last couple of uh, videos I've been my, do how sorry I have been doing my activation before we do a, a cardio style warm up, and that's because in Melbourne it's been so cold of late. Uh, you might actually do yourself an injury by getting out and running or jogging before you've actually warmed up and stretched a little bit. So that's the reason for the reversal. Okay, hands on hips and let's have some rotation of the middle, lower back, making that all supple and ready to go. About 10 each way and back around the other way. <clears throat> let's have some helicopters as I call them, about 10 forward and 10 back. Hands clasped together and roll those wrists around and back the other way once more. And under and over. Hands out to the side, one palm up, the other down, and 20 twists. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hands by your side, 10 shoulder rolls forward. Now this activation process, complete this twice. I'm only gonna be demonstrating each set of exercises once, uh, and I will tell you how many times I recommend that you do each set of exercises as we go through the workout. Okay, just give your body a twist, have some front leg kicks. Okay, now, um, some imaginary skipping, about 20. One, two, getting the cardio going a little bit. That's about 20, approximately 20 star jumps. Or if you don't want to do star jumps, you want a, a lower level, lower impact star, do half stars. But for the rest, do a full star.
17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay. Uh, what else will we do? What about some high knees? Ten, keep going, Graham. We'll do twenty. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Now our activation and cardio warm up. Do that twice, and you're going to be good to go. All right, well, we're getting straight into the strength part, part one, and we're going to do ten air squats, ten alternating forward lunges, and ten. Uh, 10 Bulgarian split squats with the rear leg up on the chair. So here we go, 10 air squats to begin with. Two, three, down through your heels, chest forward. Eight, Nine, and you can make these more difficult by slowing down the pace. Up to you, more normal pace. Um, now, next one, 10 alternating lunges. I like to have my hands on my hips, chest forward, hips forward. Really getting down to the floor if you can. Six, seven, eight, whoop, nine, and ten. Remember, these lunges are a balance exercise as well, so keep your concentration levels up high. Okay, now we need the chair. My rear leg is going to go up onto the chair. And I'm going to do 10 pulses on each leg, starting with my left leg. One, two, watch your balance on this one as well. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Other side. As I said, watch your balance. Don't overbalance, make sure you're good to go. Three, some of you might actually need a chair here to keep you stable while you're actually doing this. Eight, nine, and 10. Okay, that's our first little strength routine. We won't need that chair again. So we've had 10 air squats, 10 alternating forward lunges, and we've had 10 uh, Bulgarian split squats, 10 on each leg. That's our first strength component, part one. I've done one set, you do two or three sets. And as always, if you do my recommendation, three sets of each of these little routines, your workout's gonna be around that 45 minute mark. Okay, number two. Strength, and this is gonna give you a little bit of a cardio boost, this one as well. So you will only need uh, one dumbbell, so I'm using a four kilogram one. Remember, if you don't have dumbbells, use your water bottle dumbbells that you've made up. Uh, and first one we're going to have is a snatch. We're doing 10 on each side. And we're starting off, I've got my weight in my right hand, back of my hand facing forward. I'm going to start off from my left ankle. And here we go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. As I mentioned earlier in this video, many of you will find this workout a little challenging, but you can adjust the weights. You can do body weight only if you like, just do the movements without weight. This little routine, our part two strength routine, will actually get your heart going a little bit. It's done, no rest, one exercise straight after the other with a 60 second rest between sets. So here we go with the other side. 
One. Five. Six. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay, our next exercise is a reverse lunge with an arm lift. I'm starting off with the weight of my right hand again. I'm going to do the reverse lunge on my left leg while I'm raising my right arm. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and other side, hand on hip, left hand, right leg goes to the reverse lunge. One. Nine, and 10. Now straight into wood chops, nice wide stance, holding the weight in two hands and we're chopping down to our opposite ankle. Four, make sure you've got a drink bottle and a towel ready. Eight, nine, and 10. Oh, how are you all going? Starting to run out of breath? Starting to get a little bit breathless? I hope so. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, weight down. Now, like me, you're likely to be a little bit out of breath when you finish that little routine. Make sure you've got your drink bottle, excuse me. Make sure you have your drink bottle and your towel nearby. Make sure you hydrate. Oh, lovely cool water. And make sure you're ready to go for the next routine. Make sure that your cardio respiratory system has returned to pretty much normal and your heart rate will have come down as well. Now again, as with part one strength, part two strength, two or three sets, three sets, and you've got a 45 minute workout, two sets, it'll be around 30 minutes. So when you've recovered, do that again. Uh, now I'm going to show you part three, which is strength, balance, and agility. So picking up the weights again, we're going to be focusing on arms in this part of the workout and I'm going to adopt a balanced position. I'm going to start off with rotating, sorry, rotating bicep curls. There are three basic balance positions. One with the front foot slightly offset from the rear. The second is toe to heel. And the third is one leg. So choose a balanced position either offset front, toe to heel, or on one leg, and let's do a set of rotating bicep curls. One, two, three, four, just up to the chest. Five, six, don't come right up to here because you actually have a rest when it's at the top. So if you keep it to chest high, seven, eight, nine, and 10. As I was saying, if you keep it to chest high, your muscle, bicep, is under uh, resistance the whole time, weight resistance. Come up to here, and you're giving yourself a rest at the top. So don't do that. Okay, next one, again, choose a balanced position, front foot offset, toe to heel, or up on one leg. I'm going to go toe to heel this time for a set of hammer curls. So one, and again, if 
you want to increase the intensity, just slow the movement down. And again, just up to the chest. Don't go right to the top because you're going to be having a rest. I think that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, one more exercise left, and we don't do a balance on this particular one, but it's a tricep kickback. So I'm going to show you from the side, bending down almost horizontal to the ground, knees slightly bent, feet about shoulder width apart, elbows locked to the side, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lovely. Well done, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the class. Now, this particular one, three sets of this as well, three sets of ten repetitions. That's bicep rota rotating curl, bicep hammer curl, and tricep kickback. Okay. We can actually put the weights away now because we won't need those again. So get those out of the way. And we're going to have a little bit of strength combined with some cardio and a little bit of agility for part four. So again, um, had quite a bit of lower body today. And in this cardio strength and agility component, uh, no exception. We're starting off with 15, yes, 15 air squats, just with body weight. Then we're going to have alternating front lunge. I'm going to use my ball. If you don't have a ball, uh, use your backpack, and I'll demonstrate that. It's 10 alternating forward lunges with a twist, going to help our core. Uh, and then we've got 20 mountain climbers, and I'll show you how to do those. Okay, so here we go, 15 body weight squats, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Five more. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, last one, fifteen. So picking up your backpack or your medicine ball, straight into 10 alternating forward twists, lunge twists. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Well done everybody. Backpack down, straight into 20 mountain climbers. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. 70, 80, 90, 20. Well done. 60 seconds rest. Do that little routine again. And two sets, two sets of the strength cardio with the agility. Okay. So we've had four parts of the workout, and you will have noticed that there's been a focus on the lower body. Why? Because our biggest muscles are in our legs and our butt, and we need to stay strong there, uh, and that's why we've had that focus today. Whew. Two sets of that, and, and then we'll have a cool down and a recovery. Remember to hydrate, have a bit of water right throughout the workout. Good stuff, okay. When you're fully recovered, after those two sets, we're gonna cool down with a little bit of stretch. So hands by your side, nice wide stance, a um, little bit wider than shoulder width apart, and let's do a side bend. Now each one of these stretches hold for 20 to 30 seconds, preferably 30 seconds each in the stretch position, and if you do, you'll be able to stretch a little bit further each time. And other side. 
I'm not going to hold mine for 20 to 30 seconds. You don't want be, you don't want to be watching me do that, but just to demonstrate the movement. And then back. Let's do one each. Another one each side. Heart rate should be returning to normal now. And over we go again. And as I say, hold them all for 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, up. Now, some of you may need a chair alongside of you. If you do, make sure you bring your chair forward again and come up into a quadricep stretch. And hold that, whoops, hold that again for 30 seconds. If you need to support yourself with a chair, just make sure it's within easy reach, no falls, and hold. Okay, other side. The other leg, up we come. This is the one that I injured on a mountain the other day. But I think we've got there. And hold, hold again for 20 to 30 seconds. And release. Okay, chair back over there. And clasp your hands in front of you and push out. Push out. When you've pushed out as far as you can and you feel a nice stretch across the top of the shoulders, press out a little bit more and hold again 20 to 30 seconds. Then invert those hands around like so and push out for a beautiful forearm stretch. Again, 20 to 30 seconds. And release, okay. Hands above your head. Nice, three nice great big inhales through your nose on the way down and exhale on the way up. Here we go. And last one. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed that Strong for, for Life workout today. Um, make sure you do two or three sets of each of the strength components. That's part one through to part four. Uh, and until we see each other again in the gym, uh, which hopefully will not be too far into the future, uh, stay well and stay safe. Graham signing off for now. Bye.